out here at the pond and the guys are they're at it again they're breeding again this is like maybe the fourth day in the last week and a half that there's been crazy breeding ground on the pond i just want to give you a quick look at it as well because i get asked about this all the time how can you tell if your goldfish are male or female usually the first sign that they're male or female is actually when they start breeding like this uh, the boys will chase the girls and i'll give you a look at what that looks like now so you can see there's a couple of fish here i'll just move so that the light's not so bad doing a bit of chasing and the lady at the front the slightly bigger one it's actually the one up at the top now at the moment you can see that's the female and she's a little bit rounder in her belly she's kind of got a big belly and we got two boys chasing her now what the boys are doing is they're gonna bang off her side there's another one is that they're joining in and they're gonna just bang off her side and when they do it'll just push some of the eggs out of her because there's not a lot keeping them in they come out really readily and that's why she's going in and around the plants the eggs are super sticky and they'll stick to everything and she'll just be quite comfortable and chilled out with the plants it's kind of a bit harder for them to kind of bump into her when they're not swimming and she'll just move on and what we'll see as well is loads of the other fish will be going around eating those eggs as well guys are all going around having a nibble so not every fish is going to be interested in breeding but they're pretty much all going to be interested in eating those eggs and i won't be keeping any of these eggs i'll just leave those be and you can see the guys here are all having a good old nibble here comes Hank. Hank is this big guy with the red dot on his head. And he's going to be looking to get in on it as well. He's trying to find which one is the female. And once he finds her, he'll start chasing. And now he's gone off because he's not sure which one she is now. But that's what they do. They'll chase each other. The, the, the males will chase the females. And I'll see if I can show you some eggs here as well. Okay, all those little white dots in the center that are stuck to the plants, they're all eggs they're all eggs and there's loads of them they're absolutely everywhere there's actually a couple of females in here being chased at the moment but that's what the eggs look like they're super sticky they're kind of like a tough rubber nearly there's more all over the place but they're kind of tough and rubbery so they're they're easy enough to handle you could i could take out those plants now if i wanted and they just stay stuck to them and put them into a bucket and do them no harm at all but at the moment there's no need for me to do that i'm not looking to breed any of these guys at the moment i've got there's like 130 fish in here and i've got another pond with another 130 fish so i don't need any more at the moment and i'm not breeding them and they're just doing this because they're in good form and goldfish will breed a number of times over the course of the year and you know there are things that trigger it and set it off there's things like um changes in water temperatures and stuff like that the water temperatures in this pond have been constant so that's not a that's not a factor in this um light level changes haven't really been that significant over the course of the last couple of weeks um you know we're in the middle of the summer they just feel good they just feel good they're getting good food good quality water and if they have all the right conditions that's it they'll breed and they'll do it super regularly these guys are all nearly all my own goldfish they're ones that i've bred and raised so i know that they've got a great start if you're never seen your goldfish do any of this breeding activity there's a couple of reasons why that may be they may have had kind of a poor start if they were store-bought and in the breeders or where they were kept originally they didn't get the best care and attention sometimes that may um, stall their development and sometimes they won't be able to breed on account of that and um, they just aren't able to reproduce if they don't get all of the things that they need to build all of those elements and organs in their bodies and stuff like that and to fully build out their reproductive system they need for that to be fully developed and if they have a poor start and they're not getting enough food as a as a very young fish and a young fry sometimes they'll just be completely sterile and they won't be able to breed and um, sometimes it'll just be a case that the conditions aren't right that they're in now but if you give them really good conditions sometimes that makes all the difference and all of a sudden they start breeding and going like crazy so it's fine good clean water lots of good quality food and you know make sure your filtration system is up and running and you're doing water changes your goldfish will breed six to nine months old is the kind of age range that i usually see goldfish starting to breed from goldfish that i've raised myself but store-bought ones can sometimes take a little bit longer sometimes even a year or two before they seem like they're interested in it at all but that's what you need to look out for and that's what you'll usually see sometimes you'll see it in the morning but like this is the early afternoon and they're doing it now so it can kind of happen pretty much any time during the day. Sometimes it'll happen in the evening even. But 
that's usually the first thing you'll see is boys will chase the girls, they'll bump up beside them, and if you look carefully around the edges, plants, uh, decorations, the walls, the even the glass of an aquarium, sometimes you'll see those little tiny eggs and they'll be all over the place because females can carry thousands of eggs. That's it guys. Just wanted to give you a quick look. If um I've got the Discord set up and I've got a link uh, for that in my bio and I've also got the um TikTok instagram all that kind of stuff as well as the youtube channel and the website and um, posting updates as frequently as i can so thanks very much for checking this out talk to you in the next one take care bye bye